Let's crack a pack of Magic's 5th edition from 1997. Hey everyone, it's VM Campos, Magic Fan, Vintage Magic Fan. Today I'm opening up some booster packs of Magic's 5th edition, a core set from 1997. This happy little guy is the Black Knight, and he adorns one of the booster packs of this set. I don't recognize these other two, but we'll get to them soon enough. We're going to open this booster pack of a set I haven't opened in over 20 years. You get 15 cards. These are going to be the classic border cards. The old mana symbols, the old colors, the old artwork. Magic as it should be. So we get a little info. This booster pack contains 15 tradable game cards randomly assorted for play with other Magic the Gathering cards. To begin playing, you must first purchase a 60 card deck. Now that's interesting how they word it, that you need a 60 card deck, then you can open these. It doesn't really mention that you can make your own deck and then add more to it. Nothing of interest here, just a bunch of copyright text and so forth. So I've seen conflicting videos that the order of the rarity is first commons, then uncommon, then rare. But I've also seen videos where the order of these things is backwards. So if I don't get the right order, don't worry about it. Just enjoy the cards. The glue is still strong 20 years later. Okay, Keldoran, Sky Captain. Four and a white, two, two, summon soldier, art by Mark Poole. Once again, classic border, white border, because this is a reprint set. This is a core set, reprint set. Uh, summon soldier, which has been simplified and such nowadays. Banding, flying, first strike. So for a tiny little creature, you get a lot of abilities. First strike and flying is cool. Banding is also cool if you can wrap your head around it. It's kind of complex. You can combine creatures together, sort of. The heart link between soldier and steed is hatched with the Aster struggling with its shell, from its shell. All right, Findhorn Elder. Very cool art here. Donato Giancola. Two and a green, one, one. Summon elf, tap, add green, green to your mana pool. Play this ability as a mana source, which they don't say that anymore. It's it's an instant. Do we know what we're doing? Yes, the Will of Frailes. Lyanna of the Elvish Council. By this generation of magic cards, they were getting new artists and going more toward realism. This looks very realistic, I would say. Compare that with Art that was there since day one, 1993. This is from 1997. Um, X and a blue interrupt, also known as an instant nowadays. Art by Richard Thomas. Counter target spell. Unless that spell's caster pays an additional X, that player draws and pays all mana from lands and mana pool until X is paid. He or she may also draw and pay mana from other sources if desired. So it's a counter spell and it taps out their mana pool. Ooh, Jester's Cap. So this is a reprint from Ice Age, another set that I really love. This is the fifth edition Ice Age. It's one of the ones that you would look out for. Artifact for four, classic brown border. Artifact, two and a tap. Sacrifice Jester's Cap. Look through target player's library and remove any three of those cards from the game. Shuffle that library afterwards. So you could really disrupt your opponent with this. And since it's only a destroy effect, you can bring it back from your graveyard. Know your foe's strengths as well as their weakness. Arkham Dagson, Soldevi Mechanist, art by Dan Frazier, with a really smug looking jester. Great, I got, glad I got that card. I think that might be the rare of the pack. Boomerang, with new art, well, new for fifth edition. Blue, blue, return target permanent to owner's hand. Art by Alan Rabinowitz. 
So any permanent, return it to the opponent's hand. Oh, call back yesterday, bid time return. William Shakespeare, King Richard II. Wild Growth, new art. Um, for a green enchant land, whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, it produces an additional green. Art by Pat Morrissey. Classic art, Orcish Conscripts. For a red, summon orcs, 2-2. Two, two. Now this is a pretty terrible card. Orcish Conscripts cannot attack this turn unless at least two other creatures are also attacking, or Orcish Conscripts cannot be assigned to block this turn unless at least two other creatures are blocking. So yeah, you get a quick creature for red, but then it can't block or attack by itself. But love that art by Doug Schuler. Phantasmal Terrain, new art, blue blue, David Cherry art, Enchant Land. Enchanted Land is a basic land type of your choice. So still can be useful nowadays for really messing with your opponent's special lands. So cool for Commander. Samite Healer, classic art from day one. One and a white, summon Cleric, one one. Tom Warner Strand art, tap, prevent one damage to any creature or player. Healers ultimately acquire the divine gifts of spiritual and physical wholeness. The most devout are also granted the ability to pass physical wholeness onto others. Regeneration. Love the art right away. I can tell Quinton Hoover art. Beautiful. One and a green enchant creature. For a green, regenerate enchanted creature. I remember the first, I remember the fourth edition one had. Uh, a text here that was slightly confusing to me way back when I was like 13 or whatever uh, and now they kind of cleaned it up very cool art updraft uh, alternate art uh, I think updraft was first printed in ice age uh, but here we've got art by John Matson. one in a blue instant target creature gains flying until end of turn and draw a card at the beginning of the next turn uh, so notice it doesn't mention at the beginning of the next turn's upkeep, which they often did. Come one, come all. This rock shall fly from its firm base as soon as I. Sir Walter Scott, the Lady of the Lake. Sabretooth Tiger, one and a red. First strike, two one. Melissa Benson Art. He was usually drawing a bunch of horses, but here she's got a cool Sabretooth Tiger. I fear anything with teeth measured in hand spans, nor in the wary. That was some cool flavor text from this character for a long time. Ooh, Dark Ritual uh, with the new art uh, for black mana source. That's funny. It's an instant. Or is it a sorcery? Anyway, add black, black, black to your mana pool. Art by Clint Langley. Such an evil wizard. So cool. Prodigal Sorcerer, two and a blue, summon wizard, one, one. Prodigal Sorcerer deals one damage to target creature or player. And this is the exact card from previous sets, uh, just with the brand new fifth edition copyright. And lastly, Dwarven Soldier, one and a red, two, one. If Dwarven Soldier blocks or is blocked by any orcs, it gets plus zero, plus two until end of turn. Randy Asplund Faith Art. Orcs must die. Orcs must die. Not an orc. March on by. Dwarven Marching Song. I never really liked the art here. It looked really kind of awkward. But anyway, from opening this pack, it looked like it was that the uncommons and the rares were the last ones, and the commons were the first ones. So I'm going to open the next one in that sort of way. I'm going to open Mr. Tree over here. Right, so I'm going to do it like this. I think these three are the uncommons, and then this one is the rare. That was sort of like the collation in 4th edition, and that was from a couple of videos that I saw. So these should be all the commons. They didn't really have it all figured out, their arrangement for a while. We have Goblin War Drums, first published in Fallen Empires, one of the worst sets ever. Great nostalgia. Two and a red enchantment, Dan Fraser art. Each creature you control cannot be blocked by only one creature. So basically it gives your creatures menace. Goblins, 
charge with a deafening war cry. The cry doesn't mean anything, it just drowns out the drums. Road die mercenary. War mammoth, three and a green summon mammoth, three three trample. Art by Jeff Mengus. I didn't think mammoths could ever hold a candle to a well-trained battle horse. Then one day, I turned my back on a drunken soldier. His blow never landed. Micha flung the brute over 10 meters. Good elephant. Circle of Protection Black. So, classic card. One and a white enchantment. Art by Jerry Grace. One colorless mana. Prevent all damage to you from a black source. Treat further damage from that source normally. So you prevent any one damage, like drain life for a single one mana. Hill Giant, alternate art. Three and a red summon giant, three, three. Art by Charles Gillespie. Fortunately, hill giants have large blind spots in which a human can easily hide. Unfortunately, these blind spots are beneath the bottoms of their feet. Dark Maze, uh, first printed in Homelands, the worst set ever of magic. Four, and a blue for a four, five, summon wall, which is a defender, cannot attack. Zero, Dark Maze can attack this turn as though it were not a wall. At the end of turn, remove Dark Maze from the game. So you get a four, five attacker one time, then you exile it, or you can have a four, five wall always, casting cost of five with interesting art by David Seeley. Stray not onto the path of darkness, or be lost forever, Baki, wizard attendant. Drain life, speaking of drain life, I never had this one and I never knew of this art. One and a black sorcery. Art by Andrew Robinson. X, drain life deals one damage to target creature or player. Spend only black mana in this way. Gain one life for each one damage dealt but not more than the toughness of the creature or the life total of the player drain life damages. Uh, more recent versions of this have the X in the casting cost and still tell you only use black mana. Interesting, I never had this art. Kind of abstract. Brothers of Fire. I just lost a game recently of uh, vintage cube draft to this guy right here. Brothers of Fire, one red red, two two, summon brothers, one red red, activated ability. Brothers of Fire, Fire deals one damage to target creature or player and one damage to you. Fire is never a gentle master. Art by Mark Tidine. Yep, Angie did an amazing kill move that took me out and James, thanks to Brothers of Fire. Stone Rain. Two, and a red, sorcery, art by Tony Roberts, destroy, target, land. The end. Pretty reasonable casting cost in red to destroy any land. Gazban Ogre. For a single green, you summon an ogre of 2-2, two -two. art by Mark Rabe. During your upkeep, if a player has more life than any other, he or she gains control of Gazban Ogre. So this little mercenary goes to every player, depending on life. We were holding our own until the ogre guiding us suddenly grinned and turned on our commander. Ivra Jurd's daughter, Sarpedian mercenary. Dickish move there, Gazban ogre. Mons Goblin Raiders, the newer art. For a single red mana, you get a 1-1. One, one. Summon goblins, that's it. Art by Pete Venters, so there's your aggro red. The intricate dynamics of Runevelt goblin affairs are often confused with anarchy. The chaos, however, is the chaos of a thundercloud, and direction will sporadically and violently appear. Pashalik Mons and his raiders are the thunderhead that leads in the storm. Pretty epic flavor text for a not epic card. Last common is Shrink. For green mana, you get an instant. Target creature gets minus five, minus zero until end of turn. Art by Liz Danforth. May you decrease like coal upon the hearth, 
evaporate like water in a pail, become as little as a linseed grain, and so diminish that you come to nothing. Anglo-Saxon curse. Oops, sorry, dear viewer, I just uh, cursed you. Next up, these should be the uncommons and then the rare. Azir Drake. Three and a blue summon Drake. Two, four. Art by Janine Johnson. Flying. Little dreamt could seem so cruel as waiting for the wings outspread. The jagged teeth, the burning eyes, and dagger claws that clench to nerves. Pretty cool art. I never had this one. I think I had the one from... Mirage? Was this one in a Mirage? Anyway, pretty cool art. Crumble. For a green mana, instant. Buried target artifact. That artifact's controller gains an amount of life equal to its total casting cost. Art by Chesford Mirfers. This is old art. Ashes and dust. Dust and ashes. Hope it works before it smashes. Argivian child's rhyme. <laughs> That's hilarious. Next is Castle, three and white, Enchantment. Each untapped creature you control gets plus zero plus two unless it's attacking. Hang out our banners on the outward walls. The cry is still, they come. Our castle's strength will laugh a siege to scorn. Willie Shakes, Macbeth, art by David O'Connor. And in theory, the rare card here is... Time Bomb! Oh, well, like the classic Ramon song. Four casting cost artifact, classic brown border. Let's see. During your upkeep, put a time counter on Time Bomb. One and tap. Sacrifice Time Bomb. Time Bomb deals to each creature and player an amount of damage equal to the number of time counters on Time Bomb. Kind of love that. Let it build up for a while, let it go off, and chaos. Art by George Pratt. Interesting art. And the last booster pack is this little wolf here. Uh, hopefully I get something cool like a Mana Crypt, Sylvan Library, Winds of Change, Birds of Paradise. We'll see. So we'll try that again. Those should be the uncommons. That should be the rare. Here's our commons. Sea Serpent. Five and a blue for a 5-5 five five with Island Home. If defending player controls no islands, this creature cannot attack. If you control no islands, destroy this creature. Legend has it that serpents used to be bigger, but how could that be? Art by Ian Miller. Look, I've got this Sea Serpent and this Azure Drake. Looks like the art almost connects. Maybe they're coming together to kiss a little. Lay Druid. Two and a green summon Cleric. One, one. Sandra Evernum. Um, tap. Untap. Target land. So a little pricey, but that'd be some cool mana ramp. After years of training, the Druid becomes one with nature, drawing power from the land and returning it when needed. Ooh, I love this one. Neckrite, one black black, summon Thrall, two two. This is from Fallen Empires, one of my favorite sets. Uh, terrible set, but great art and stuff. Summon uh, Thrall, art by Ron Spencer. Sacrifice Neckrite, bury target creature defending player controls. Use this ability only if Neckrite is attacking and unblocked. Neckrite's killed Jarana Rur. Ending the counterinsurgency. Look at that amazing art. Heal for a single white mana. Instant. Prevent one damage to any creature or player. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. Sometimes even the smallest boon can save a life. Halver Aronson, Kildur, and Priest. Ambush Party, four and a red. Three, one, Charles Gillespie. Summon Ambush Party, first strike. Ambush Party is unaffected by summon sickness. So this has got haste, a three, one, first strike, haste creature with epic artwork. Fair Fight, 
I'll take survival over chivalry any day. Tor Wauki, Bandit King. Wow, Tor was a character uh, that came out in the Legends expansion set. And here he's got a little uh, quote. Spell Blast. Uh, X and a blue interrupt, also known as an instant nowadays. Greg Sampson art. Counter target spell with total casting cost equal to X. So pretty cool art. I've never seen this one before. I've used this spell in 4th edition and such. But it's a counter spell where you counter based on CMC. Stream of Life. X and a green. That's interesting. I got an X and a blue. X and a green. Next up, X and a red. Come on. Sorcery. Target player gains X life. Art by Therese Nielsen. Beautiful art from her, as always. Paralyze. One black mana, enchant creature. Art by Ron Spencer. When Paralyze comes into play, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature does not untap during its controller's untap phase. That player may pay an additional four during his or her upkeep to untap it. This guy's got an amazing six pack. Mons Goblin Raiders. So I got two of those in these three packs. Marsh Viper, three and a green for a one, two. Summon Viper, art by Ron Spencer. If Marsh Viper damages any player, he or she gets two poison counters. If any player has 10 or more poison counters, they lose the game. And the Seraphs sob at vermin fangs in human gore imbued. Edgar Allan Poe, Conqueror Worm. Last common, Eternal Warrior. For a red mana, you enchant a creature. Attacking does not cause enchanted creature to tap. So Vigilance, art by Anson Maddox. Warriors of the Tsunami Nito school spend years in training to master the way of effortless effort. And the last three cards. Wall of Fire. One, red, red, summon wall, defender. Zero, five, art by Tony Roberts. And for red mana, you can plus one plus zero until end of turn. Struggle, and you will only fan the flames. Taliba, Ember Mage. So based on that casting cost, you can make this a 2-5 or a 3-5 or so. Wall of Air. Okay, cool. Wall of Fire, Wall of Air. For one and a blue-blue, summon wall, defender, 1-5, flying. Art by Richard Kane Ferguson, one of the most amazing artists ever. When no falcons fly, beware the sky. Femerif Aphrovism. That's from uh, Mirage. Amazing art. Animate Dead. So, I love the art here. They reworded it in 5th edition. It used to be Enchant Dead Creature. Now it says Enchantment. And they had to reword the wording because it was weird. For one in a black, when you play Animate Dead, Choose target creature card in any graveyard. When Animate Dead comes into play, put that creature into play, and Animate Dead becomes a creature enchantment that targets the creature. Enchanted creature gets minus one, minus zero. If Animate Dead leaves play, bury the creature. Art by Anson Maddox. Amazing skeletal art. And the rare... The first rare 5th edition that I've opened in 20 years from a booster pack. Let's see, it is... Dance of Many. Blue Blue Enchantment. During your upkeep, pay Blue Blue or bury Dance of Many. When you play Dance of Many, choose Target Summon Card or Creature Card. When Dance of Many comes into play, put a token creature into play and treat it as an exact copy of that Summon Card. If either Dance of Many or Token Creature leaves play, bury the other. Art by Sandra Evernham. So cool, you steal your opponent's creatures, you make a token out of them for only two blue mana, but you have to keep paying two blue mana every turn to keep it alive. So there you go, three booster packs of Magic's 5th edition, a core set from 1997. These are the cards that I opened back in the day. These were the cards I played with back in the day. 
A lot of cool memories, a lot of fun cards. Many of them still work nowadays, especially for Commander. So give some of these a shot. If you liked this video and all my other content, don't forget to head on over to patreon.com slash vmcampos. Contributing a dollar a month is a great way to keep me funded and keep me motivated and keep me making great content just for you. Magic, comic books, technology, all that great stuff. I think it's worth it. This has been VM Campos. See you next time.